Aquarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. <laughs> what was that? Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus signs. Welcome to another Taurus Tarot reading. Taurus love tarot reading, I should say. Taurus love reading. And Taurus, as is pretty much always the case at the Tarot Closet, your Taurus love messages reading. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Taurus, I'm channeling for you right at the end, coming up to the end of September 2023. We're just coming up to October 2023. And of course, you could be here in real time watching then, September, October, but you could also be here many months, even years later. And the reason for that is readings are timeless and you are here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. It means there's a message here for you. So welcome. I'm really glad that you found your way here. The star card wanting to come in and it's wanting to be your overall energy today. Taurus, I really like this for you. This is Aquarius energy and of course it's a major arcana. It's also Uranus energy. Is there hope in this connection? It sure looks like it. Let's continue on and see what is happening. I want to mention before we continue on that down below you will find all the decks that are coming in today. You'll also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, all signs, love tarot readings, messages from your person I think is what I'm calling that playlist. Very long, very, that's too many, very in-depth twin flame readings if you're on a twin flame journey so feel free to explore. Remember to take what resonates for you and let the rest go. This is a general tarot reading. And I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. This really helps to keep the channel moving. And it goes without saying thank you so very much for being here today. Let's see what is going on. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the Eight of Wands in the upright. The Star card is here. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, <laughs> something kind of nice seems to be going on here for you, Taurus. Your first card down here on the table is the Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sagittarius energy. So some kind of communication with your person is gonna change everything here. It's coming really fast. This can be a message. Of course, this is Mercury and Sagittarius energy. Mercury is the planet of communication, also the planet of the mind. Someone thinking a lot about it. Oftentimes, it's connected to reading and writing. So it can be that it's a handwritten message, SMS. It's not going to be handwritten for everybody. I know that's, that's probably pretty archaic nowadays. But social media, text message, email. But it can also be in person. Let's see. And look what is in your partnership placement. It is the Wheel of Fortune. So things are changing here. There's a turning point. Have you been waiting for a message? This is a faded connection. There's a lot of hope here coming through. A lot of faith. Clarity. Is somebody getting clear about what they want? Are they sending a message regarding that? This is a faded connection. Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune, catty corner here with the star card. Your destinies are intertwined. This is a new start and it's a really strong energy for me that somebody is coming in here. Somebody's going to be sending you a message. This is a deep soulmate connection. Well, are you trying to hide? Is this yours with someone you feel you've known forever. Maybe some of you have. The Four of Pentacles coming in reverse right below the star card. It's the Sun and Capricorn energy. So somebody is afraid they've lost you. Maybe they're losing you. This is a very vulnerable energy. At one point it was here in the upright. The Sun and Capricorn, Four of Pentacles. And there is a desire for long term long-term connection here. Hello, by the way, if you're in New York, 
but there's another pentacle, you know, and it can really be anything from romance, family and friend, family and friends, excuse me, family of origin, or friends, interference, cultural religious differences, somebody in their own head, quite literally, regarding this commitment. Did they make a decision that put you here? Are they... Did they not make a decision, you know, and it kind of got made for them? It's the lover's card. Whoa, okay. So look what we're seeing here. Catty corner to the Eight of Wands is the Five of Cups. This is Mars and Scorpio energy, so and this is where your person's energy is the strongest. We're seeing the lover's card, of course. There's a lot of regret here for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. So this is somebody who either made a bad decision or didn't make a decision, you know, and it kind of got made for them. Whatever the case is here, they're afraid they've either lost you or they're losing you. And it's really strong feeling here. There's a lot of regret. It's coming through, I feel, yeah, it's coming through in a message how much they regret leaving and leaving you feeling like they don't love you. They are afraid that they're losing you. And here it is. It's the seven of pentacles in reverse, Venus and Taurus energy. It's the planet of love, of course. And what, what have you been doing? You've been sitting here in the seven of pentacles on this nest, which for some of you can represent an actual home, of course, a dwelling but it's also the connection. And sitting on the pentacles, of course, that is the physical relationship, commitment, all the practicalities. And that's where the Venus energy is, here in those six pentacles. Of course, that seventh pentacle up here, kind of like a beacon, and that's the waiting. That's the waiting, and that's also very patiently waiting, you know, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't, but keeping the pentacles warm, I want to say, still doing the work, you know, just waiting for what outcome are you waiting for? I think you're waiting for more than a message. A message is coming, but I feel like you're waiting for a lot more than that. Are you waiting for some kind of offer? Perhaps this offer is coming back into something where somewhere where you already were or it's something new between you. Either way, the lover's card here is... is Placed where your person's energy is the strongest. Taurus, this is Gemini energy, of course. More Venus energy. This is what you've been waiting for. And there is a feeling that they're losing you now. This is in reverse. This is in reverse now. So getting ready to walk away. Maybe there's something going on in your life or your social media. is Something that they're seeing or hearing. Maybe you're getting a little bit um, posting more or saying more, or maybe you're getting quiet and it's doing the opposite. Whatever the case is, they're coming in here really fast and there's a lot of regret and there's a lot of worry that they've lost you, yet there's still hope. Look, wanted to come right below your very first card today, your overall energy, the star card, which is the renewal, which is the hope. And this is also the Uranus energy, which is changing things here. Catty corner to the lover's card. A deep love connection. Archangel Raphael, who just wants to heal what is broken here. Butting heads, you know, it's sort of like maybe some power struggles going on. Not talking to each other, not looking at each other either, but connected and very clearly still loving each other. It's the lover's card. Are they possibly coming here with an offer that you've been waiting for? Yeah, it, <laughs> it looks a lot like that. In fact, it's almost a sure thing that it's a message. Is it more? It can be. This is more soulmate energy. Twin flame energy, if you're on a twin flame journey, this can be about communication. It's not a twin flame reading, you know, so take what resonates. There's really long twin flame readings below, but it does come through here today. It's a, a very strong love, and this, your person here, is preparing for something. Fast, coming in, unexpected, love offer, quite literally, restoring harmony, 
this is coming together. Is it just a message? Is it more? It's really looking like a whole lot more to me, but let's see. And are you still going to be here? This five of cups, you know, what happened here? Because they have a lot of regret for leaving you feeling like they don't love you. And it's very clear that this is the message they're sending you today, Taurus, that they do love you, that they love you. We can see that you're both still in each other's energy. There is still hope here for this connection. These cups are full. This is bringing in the two of cups here. That's Venus and Cancer energy. And that's the love here and the partnership and the full cup of love. The emotional energy, the feelings for each other. Of course, the divine, the divine connection here. The crow is looking pretty forlorn. And there's a lot of reasons for that because this is also... It's an alignment of energies on one hand of being left and on the other hand, leaving. And it can be a physical disconnect and it can be both physical and communication, but it can even just be one. And here's the thing. You go over here and it's the three of cups. It's Mercury and Cancer energy. It's more of the love. It's more of the emotional energy. It's the Mercury energy as well. It's the planet of the mind the planet of communication, the water, the emotional energy is still here. You know, it hasn't dissipated. It looks literally like it just got dumped over. So whether this is a recent, a recent issue, breakup, disconnect, lack of communication, or, or not, it's not even the point because it's just that it's still here and it hasn't the emotional energy has is still going on between you and whatever happened between you has not it's still ongoing you know that's what i want to say there's still a lot of emotion around it and this is also of course catty corner with the eight of wands and it's really strongly connecting here that this is a communication coming in regarding this the divine divine timing Communication and growth, really, on both sides. Look at the poppies. That is a making peace energy for me. As this Eight of Wands, led by the spirit, spiritual messenger here, the fastest energy, these wands, just flying in. The sunflowers connecting to the sun, to the source. They don't grow without the source. God, goddess, the universe, the divine, spirit, angels, Spirit guides, what is that for you? And that's connected also to the crown chakra and figuring things out, you know, finding a solution to that happy outcome. It's the timing, divine timing here. It's coming in real fast. Eight is an action number. It's accomplishing something. And there's a lot of Gaia energy around that as well. A lot of healing energy. And of course, that eight on, on the side. <laughs> I know it's the wrong finger. <laughs> is an infinity symbol and that's connecting also to Libra. And that's, you know, that's the truth. That's balance. It's the yin yang energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And of course, for some of you, that's a direct connection if you're on a twin flame journey, but that's also forever love. You know, it's infinite love, infinite possibilities. It's infinity. I love you to infinity. I always forget the, the name of that singer, but it, Here's the other thing too, the crow looking forlorn here. For some of you, you know, this is also maybe going to be in this message. For some of you, you might have had, had an argument, a really emotional argument in person. It could also be that it was digitally, you know, it really can be either or here. And that's a lot of why we see this crow that's looking forlorn. It's, it's really whatever went on here. But it's also, you know, maybe something wasn't, yeah, decision was made or wasn't made. And these kick, cups were kind of kicked over, you know. But the energy is, the emotional energy is still very much here. And, of course, you know, this is connecting in the partnership placement with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a new cycle, big time. This is the renewal, also validating that with the star card. It's the end of a cycle. It's a completion of a cycle, which is clear here. It's a no contact, no communication, and or in separation cycle. There is, um, yeah, a very strong energy 
of manifesting you back, manifesting things back. Look at this, afraid they've lost you. An energy of, of again, of the hurt caused, the hurt felt by what happened and the hurt caused by your person here in this energy. The crow is, is, you know, because your energy again is here also and look where the, the, the back, the crow's back is here to this crow who's over here, it's in reverse, but looking right over, but looking at the back. So this was something that really hurt you. This is somebody that you really love, that loves you too, that is afraid they really messed up and they're not gonna be able to get you back. And you know, where are you with that? Because you're here in the seven of pentacles as things are about to change here. So there is a really fast energy of this eight of wands of wanting to come in like really fast and send a message to you. Here today, digitally, in person, how is it through other people? And are they making an offer? It looks pretty strong here. What is that offer going to be? Bottom of the deck. It's the Six of Cups. The Sun and Scorpio energy. Yeah. So some of you have known your person, I want to say all your life, you know, it doesn't mean that everybody has because it can also just be that feeling, you know, that feeling, that infinite, that feeling, that that it's forever love, you know, that it's your person. This does bring in soulmate energy, twin flame energy, past life energy. What is for you? There's a really nostalgic energy here. We know that. What are they thinking? How to make it happen is what's coming through for me today. And I'll tell you, it's not always the case. A lot of times it's a dreamy energy, you know, and that is here too, for sure. But it's, it's what, trying to find a way to talk to and or see you. This is remembering both the good here. Those, look, there are those sunflowers. There's three of them here and that's the timing. And then there's the fourth sunflower which of course is manifesting what? Again, it's manifesting a stable of the foundation and all the four areas of support and stability, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Being able to bring that all together, you know, so it's holding up the connection. These are, these are the pentacles. You know, it's the commitment energy. It's the earth energy. It's the grounding energy. And that four and manifesting that foundation, which is going right on top of that earth energy building on it, long-term energy, long-term commitment energy. And they know they messed up here. And here's what's really interesting is they think about this and try to find a way to come here. They're sending a message and I feel that's coming with a whole lot more. It's a huge validation of how much regret they have because look where they're looking here. This is the six of cups, but look at these five cups here, the muted, Roses, you know, they've lost their color. That's the five of cups that's here. That's more energy of the regret for, for leaving you or leaving, was it leaving a conversation, leaving the connection, not communicating, whatever that is, they regret it because it left you feeling like they don't love you. They love you. It's clear that they love you. And this is how Okay, <laughs> how your reading is wanting to come in here. It's wanting to do, to go into a bottoms up reading. My gosh. So the Ten of Wands is in reverse. This is Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. And Jupiter, you know, is the planet of prosperity, expansion, hope, optimism, wisdom, things moving along, you know. And when it's here, it's not. It's frustrating. It's overwhelming. There's too much, you know. And it's the energy of love. It's the matters of the heart. It's the idea of love. It's the fastest energy too, you know, but carrying this around is just exhausting. Look how close it is. And hello again, <laughs> if you're in New York, I know that's not for everybody, but I have to mention it, but it's in reverse and that's a releasing energy. Look at that. That's a releasing energy and it's catty corner here with the four of pentacles in reverse, which is a very vulnerable energy, an energy of what did I do? What did I do? So whatever may have been holding your person back from this message, which there's not a strong indication with what we're seeing, but I'm feeling the apologetic energy and an offer. Something has been, has moved out of the way. You know, there's a release here in reverse. 
And this is the strong energy here. Look at this of regret and it coming in with a message for you. The Six of Cups, of course, is right next to the Five of Cups, which is for me here, here again. And it's catty corner to the lover's card. It's catty corner to the lover's card here. This soul connection. We have many soulmates in the world. It's true. This is a soulmate. For some of you, it is your twin flame. I mean, it's very clear. And the two of cups is here. You know, it's here within the five of cups today. Look at that energy. And that's the hope still here. Despite everything, still loving each other, still holding out hope. The emotional energy is still flowing. There, I just got chills as I said that because I do feel that there might still be some con con conflicting energy. So there might... I'm hearing that there and feeling really physically that there might be a lot of things to say, <laughs> you know, that are are highly emotional. Again, not a strong indication of that going on here, Taurus, but as far as what you're seeing, but that's coming through for me. Because there's a lot of love here and there's also a lot of hurt, but I, I am feeling some, well, yeah, some disappointment, let's say. And... You know, that anger and disappointment is, is always going back and it's tracing back to love, you know, and we see that here. And we also see a validation of the new cycle coming. The end of a cycle, the completion of this no contact, no communication and or in separation cycle and moving into to something new here, clarity, hope. Look at the wings, wide, open. The bird is singing, a messenger here, right? And I mean, it's the, it's the star energy, you know, in Uranus. Is that the sun behind? And there's the eighth star. Of course, this is a 17. And this is an eight. It's coming to an eight. And that's an auction number. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of guy energy in that eight again. And it's, it's this infinity symbol. Their wings are wide open. And look at all the emotional energy flowing. Look, it's going in every single direction. The bird singing. That eighth star, too, by the way, um, was a gift to Leo, <laughs> to the strength card, which, of course, is also the source. God, goddess, the universe, the divine spirit, angels, spirit guides. What is that for you? Sending that strength for hope and clarity. There is a very strong chemistry between you, Taurus, you and your person, that sometimes overwhelms each other. Interesting. And that's really coming through here also in the lover's card. And it has not eluded me that we're sitting here waiting <laughs> to talk about the four of wands. You know, because there's this like, uh, you know, it's like where you're pushing your heads together and it's like you're so maddening. I love you. It's this feeling here. It's really strong. I mean, the heart is like in the rawest form of a heart. It's not heart, you know, I mean, it's the actual <laughs> heart, the anatomy of a heart here too. Of course, the moon and the sun are here. They can't exist without each other. The messengers, spirit messengers, also ascension here, working things out. The snake right in between the trees, the energetic movement. I mean, this almost, it's the lover's, you know, it almost just has the, I almost have this feeling that, I had this feeling that it was like on top of the earth, the earth, of course it's the earth, <laughs> but like the world card. Okay, the four of wands has been sitting here patiently waiting, Venus and Aries energy. Yeah, it's re more reunion energy. It's more reunion energy here, Taurus. This is... Well, it's soul, incoming soulmate energy. It can sometimes be in a marriage energy. And of course, it can be that you're seeing your person. So that's a validation for some of you. And it can't even be that somebody, someone, <laughs> highly likely your person, should that be the case, is orchestrating it. Or maybe there is somewhere you know you're going to see them. Or you might even be surprised. It won't be for everybody that you're seeing them. But this is showing us that that is the case for some of you. There is a homecoming energy, so it can be coming back in quite literally, you know, to 
to a dwelling, I want to say, but a city, state, country as well. And also just the connection. It's a bird bath. You know, it's it's a healing place. It's a, it's a giving life. It's a cleansing. It's water. It's the divine. It's emotional energy. And look at all, look at the lotus flowers. They're floating in it. Of course there are four manifesting. The wands, the energy of love. Again, the fastest energy here. The idea of love leading with the heart. And... Those white are those white roses, or is that a flower that's eluding me? In any case, it does have a feeling of kind of purity, like honesty, you know. And it's wrapped up all together with a floral laurel wreath, which is my indication more more of an indication of a reunion. And I'm just looking in here. Almost looks like that could be a cup, but. That's the sun, un unmistakably, <laughs> the source right there. And that's the outcome. That's, again, Leo energy back there. <laughs> God, goddess, the universe, the divine, spirit, angels, spirit guides. What is that for you? But figuring things out to get there. It can be for some of you, you have connections with, you're connected via friends or family. It won't be for everyone, but you know, it's pretty strong for a lot of you, both in the past energy, the current energy, and even the upcoming energy. In any case, look at here. Manifesting this in. Soulmate energy coming in. And no longer are you butting heads there. So something here, obviously getting worked out, maybe a really big deal. Sending in this energy for soulmate energy coming in to help things, you know. And of course, that's what Archangel Raphael is here for, to help fix what's broken. Here you're butting those heads, <laughs> maddening, you know, and look. Here you're, you're completely connected, talking in union here, right in front of the sun, the bird bath. It's a beautiful energy. There's the strength card. It came. Interesting that it's in reverse, but we saw it coming in, didn't we? It's Leo energy. So here's the thing. There, is, there has been some fear around here, and it looks like there may have been some discord, and there has been some self-sabotage, I want to say, on your person's part, and we're, we're going to have to look. Yeah. So here's the thing that's happening here. I'm going to, because we see in the Four of Pentacles, you know, or what's been coming through for me is just a real, I messed up, you know, I, I really don't want to lose Taurus. What did I do? And that's strongly connected with the Strength card. And it's sort of like the star got here first to say, yeah, there is still hope. There is still hope for renewal. Clarity is coming. Have faith. This is going to work out because they're really afraid. They were not trusting themselves. Look at this. And they may, they may still not be because the high priestess is also in reverse. Another major arcana, you know, divine feminine energy, cancer and energy. And it's kind of holding things back that you want to say, you know, holding things back from yourself about what you should do, not trusting yourself, being afraid. You know, being afraid of maybe your feelings, being afraid of what you of what you have to own up to. What is the fear around your person, you know? And you're going to know that more than anyone, aren't you? But it's connecting here with this minor arcana energy of the Four of Pentacles. It's very clear what they're wanting to do and how they feel. But how things, what has been, I want to say, holding things back. Yeah, you know, look, it's even here. It's even wanting to go here. And, and as I was placing them, this is where I would go. And I thought, is this where they need to go today? And I heard, yeah, that's where they need to go today. So it's also, of course, connecting here to the Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana. And just being afraid of that. There is there is some fear around here. And I think a lot of that is the regret for 
maybe what they did, you know, what they did or what they didn't do, which has been sabotaging things. And it's based, a lot of it is based around fear. And could it also be for some of you that there is a fear around another level of commitment or where things were going and also how they feel about you, you know, maybe being something new for them or something that they weren't expecting. Because this is also here, look, right in between. And it's, again, it's that sabotaging energy, you know, and it's the fear right in between the two of you and the lovers and also really the two of you here in the six of cups there's there's a fear around it yeah and that's a lot of the past energy it's still some of the current energy but i can also see that i feel like love is going to overcome that fear thank you spirit guides angels and ancestors please show us the cards i hope judgment yeah well this is not surprising Taurus it's judgment is here it's Archangel Gabriel so Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael are hanging out <laughs> today the angel for messages the herald of visions to say wake up look at look at your reading today my gosh get clear about what you want make a decision what do you want because Whatever, whatever decision you made that wasn't the right one or the one you didn't make, whatever, you know, it's going to be different for everybody, obviously isn't working for you because you're, you're really worried that you've lost your Taurus. So get a move on. You've let fear hold you back, Taurus's person. You have let fear hold you back. Obviously, you want to connect. You have a lot of regret and you obviously love your Taurus. What are you going to do about it? Wake up. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want in matters of the heart? Really, is the main thing here, isn't it? I feel really overwhelmed right now. <laughs> this is an overwhelming energy. This is Pluto energy here, judgment. And that's regenerative energy, you know? This is the decision, of course. I mean, and it's two, it's the two of you. It's the duality, you know, it's the dark into the light, getting that clarity, making wrongs into a right, it's judgment, making that decision to send this message or reach out with this communication to make this offer with the person that you love, that you messed up with, that you are afraid, literally afraid you're losing and afraid that, or afraid for some that, that you've lost. And I'm talking to your person, <laughs> by the way. And it's not me. It's, it's Archangel Gabriel talking to your person. This is, it's, yeah, it's a wake-up call. Big time. Divine timing here. And these rocks, I always forget the name of the formation. It's a lot of different reasons people do that for me it's you know kind of like when you stack them and you're going on a hike and you put them so that when you come back down you find your way back you know and that's what this energy is for me it's like finding your way back it's finding your way back to to what matters most to your person to both of you it's asking your person to find your way back And I feel like they are. I mean, it's just really, really very clear. I mean, judgment is also here. Look, <laughs> waking up, connecting to this energy of both you on with one foot out the door and on the verge of changing everything here. It's this huge turning point, this Jupiter energy of fortune coming to you now. And that Jupiter energy, and by the way here, of course, this is Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius here. You're here, Taurus. And your person can be uh, any of those signs. It, it, you know, it's not even the point really, because it's the energy and it's fixed signs. You know, you guys don't love change. And that's also coming through with the energy from your person. There's a lot of fear here. But this judgment energy, this change, you know, getting ready to spin this wheel. And that Jupiter energy is expansion. It's 
prosperity, it's hope, you know, hoping it lands in the right, you know, luck. That's also here, connecting us to Jupiter here. Optimistic, things moving, growth. I mean, it is a, a new cycle here. And judgment is also looking right up. Look at this. You are also in this energy saying, yeah, I'm waiting. What is that song? Say something. I'm, oh my gosh. Super goosebumpy. Say something. I'm giving up on you. The Christina Aguilera song. Yeah. Say something. I'm giving up on you. L literally looking up here at this eight of wands, which is communication coming in again, whether it's digitally or digitally or in person. For some of you, it can be. They will be. It's clear here. This is a lot of the past energy for me, the High Priestess and the Strength card in reverse. There's still some current energy too, but you can see that <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, the Star card, Judgment, the Lovers, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, the Star, the Wheel of Fortune are, are kind of overpowering this past and slight current energy of the Strength card and the High Priestess in reverse, the Major Arcanas that have been holding your person back. And as I say that, it's the Eight of Swords. It's day-to-day -day energy, the Minor Arcana, but it's here. You know, this is, this is a freeing of what they've been holding themselves back from. It's Jupiter energy. It's the Jupiter, it's Jupiter and Gemini energy too. It's communicating all of these things that they've been holding back. This connection, the, you know, it's moving forward, growth, prosperity, expansion. So they're coming out of this because they put themselves here. And a lot of that is the, the lack of communication, but also just the, the going away from the connection, whether it's physical or just commun in, a, in a communication aspect. That doesn't sound right. It's <laughs> gonna say communicatively, that sounds weird too. Why am I suddenly tongue-tied? Doesn't matter. Because here it is. It's the Two of Wands now right below. Mars and Aries energy. This is literally what you've been waiting for. For them to make a choice and to move forward, move toward you. For some of you, literally physical, but also not for everyone that it's that way. It's just communication, you know? Because look, here, you're completely emotionally connected. We know that already. Completely. Look here in the divine together, this divine connection, making a decision. Nobody was making it because you're back to back. You're not looking at each other. You're not talking, yet your hearts are connected. And there's the world right above you, bringing in the world card, which I was feeling was the lover's card today. It was really strange. <laughs> and that's completing, coming back to what, to together, what wasn't, what's not finished, it's travel as well it can be physical, but also again the movement toward each other, the expansion, soulmate energy again here, those obstacles out of the way, yeah, so that you can turn around and you're then you're here, talking again. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this here. Uh, on the deck because we're going to bring in another deck briefly. So we're shuffled and ready to go, but I want to do a little bit of real time shuffling. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the Five of Wands in reverse. This is saying that the problems are getting resolved. This is succeeding in restoring harmony. Look at this. And solving these issues. I really like this for you. It's the Eight of Pentacles. It's more of that energy. It's things working out. It's resolving this, these conflicts. This is the Sun in Virgo energy. Here's that Six of Pentacles. So that's a giving reciprocal energy, okay? Coming here, look, divine timing, communication, waiting for that. 
Six pentacles, you go over here and here's the seven. That's you here now in reverse. We see one foot out the door. Look how, <laughs> look how they're watching you as they work on that eighth pentacle. That's an action number, that eight. And this is the eight of pentacles, the commitment, the physical relationship, that grounding, long-term energy. Connecting also with the truth. You know, coming with the truth, which we know. It's way more than the truth of how they feel. There's a lot more coming through here. But they're watching as they're literally solving some, some problems to come and things also getting resolved here. So this is a really validating message. This is the bottom of the deck. It's the Four of Cups in reverse. It's the moon in Cancer energy. That moon, it's putting the moon here in reverse. You know what that is. It's clarity. It's the clarity that they have, but we already know that now because they didn't always have it, but they're getting it now. There's a fear around it, and it's the truth coming. But I'm wondering for some of you, it won't be for everyone that you've maybe blocked your person, but it can be. It can be that they're trying to find another way to come, but it can also just be within themselves, you know, within themselves, excuse me. So just getting around some of their own obstacles and challenges as well, which we also see here. And that's the Saturn and Leo energy, that five of wands in reverse. So that's the Saturn energy kind of, I want to say, dissipating from this connection, you know, because it's been slowing things down and creating a lot of obstacles. It's taken a lot of strength, I feel, to, to wait and get through things here. Whoa. Yeah, that's real clear. And I, what I was going to say is the cards feel really clunky. <laughs> they feel really clunky to me today. The sun has come down with the Ten of Wands in reverse, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. So there's more of that energy of a release of things lightening up here. Look, as you get here, which is a really strong energy here today, and that's a new cycle, completely new cycle. It's the renewal. It's the end of no contact, no communication and or in separation. What is that for you? It's the successful outcome. It's solving these issues. Look, they're working on theirs because they are really scared. There's a lot of fear. There was fear before things went the way they went. And there's still fear, fear now, but a lot of that too is afraid a fear that you have left here in the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, they're really watching. It's kind of bringing in Page of Swords energy for me today, <laughs> Taurus. But wanting this outcome, quite an emotional horse in front of all the sunflowers, trying to find work things out, finding a solution. Also the crown chakra with the sun, a new day. The life force coming up and growing pentacles. Growing pentacles, growing the sunflowers, connecting to the, sh the crown chakra, the knowing, the finding of the solutions. The new cycle is really here again. So that's the validation there in the Ten of Wands in reverse again. And now here's the sun connecting here also with the star card. I'm going to bring in some channeled song messages channeled love messages through song, through channeled song from your person. And it can be you are resonating with a song via the connection, you know, or maybe through just for yourself or you've been hearing a song a lot lately. It can also be you don't know the song, you don't like the song, <laughs> that's okay. And if you ever feel like it's not your song, that's okay too. You can even feel like you're sending it. There's always a sentiment behind a song and there are Things in a song, you know, words, names, locations, letters, that may come up for you that I'm not even going to pick up on. So, you know, look out for that. What do you want to say to your Taurus through channeled song? There's a love that's divine, and it's yours and it's mine, like the sun. And at the end of the day, we should give thanks and pray to the one, to the one. Have I told you lately that I love you? I've had enough of danger and people on the streets. I'm looking out for angels, just trying to find some peace. Now I think it's time that you let me know. So if you love me, say you love me, but if you don't, just let me go. One more try, George Michael. 
these are yours. Yeah, those are yours too. Wow, <laughs> it's a lot that just came through. And, and I nearly forgot my broken heart. It's taken me miles away from the memory of how we broke apart. Here we go round and round again. Nearly forgot my broken heart, Chris Cornell. There's always that one person that will always have your heart. My boo, Alicia Keys and Usher. Thought we'd be exploring together. Thought we'd be inspired together. I thought we'd be flying together. Thought we'd be on fire together. Simple together, Alanis Morissette. It's about soulmates, that song. And I'm a coward. But then again, so are you. And the lions roar. <laughs> Gosh, this is so goosebumpy. It's really connecting. The four of pentacles in reverse. The high priestess in reverse. The strength card in reverse. The lions roar. The lions roar. Has me evading and hollering for you. And I never knew, really knew what to do. The lions roar. First aid kit. First aid kit. That's healing energy. Working on that. And also working on that courage you know because there there is a and I don't mean weakness in a rude way you know but that energy of fear you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much I love you please don't take my sunshine away Jimmy Davis right here with the sun the world was on fire and no one could save me but you. It's strange what desire will make foolish people do. Wicked game, Chris Isaac. So that's some of the apologetic, apologetic excuse me, energy that I felt. That's also connecting with some of these. The Five of Wands in reverse is also an indication for some of you of them not playing games. It won't be for everyone that your person is playing games, but it's here for, for someone for sure. I miss you. So today I'm bringing out the little ones. That's too many, but this is not. And this is also yours. I have so many regrets. Yeah, that's the five of cups here and also coming through in the six of cups today. We will be together again someday. Yes, I know you love me. The lover's card. It was me, not you. It's more of the energy here of being afraid. That fear too of just being afraid they've lost you or are losing you. And you can see it. You are so good to me. I am so lost without you. Calling out here too that has that energy to it. You are the love of my life. It's going here with the lover's card. You are my first thought when I wake up and last thought before sleep. Four of Wands, bottom of the deck. I care too much what people think. That might be something involved with that pentacle here in the Four of Pentacles. Because there is, for a lot of you, there is a um, involvement, you know, or a connection to family and friends. It's not for everybody. It can't even just be separate, you know, through you or your person, but it is here. We're going to bring in some totems today. First of all, it's master number. It's an 11. It's new beginnings, can be union. Unexpected love offer here in that lover's card. And of course, that's also the partnership here, the duality, the balance, the yin-yang energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, the polar opposites forming a union, coming from a balanced place, Working things out here. It's the crown chakra and finding a solution look and rising above the conflicting energy. That's what this is for me today. 
And this is interesting. It took me a long time to figure this one out. <laughs> it doesn't come very often. It's a chimney sweeper, you know? And what does it do? Well, it comes in, they come in and they, well, they clean out your chimneys so that you can have, well, you can have a fire in your chimney and the air can flow, you know, so that the air is flowing safely. You know, it's a way to get things, well, I want to say moving again, but yeah, you know, it's a, it's a clearing. It's a clearing of things. It's a clearing of the air. It's a, a cleansing energy, kind of. It sounds sort of weird, but, and it's also connecting to that fiery energy, perhaps of some of the things that have gone on here and cleaning out all the residual ashes, you know, that are left behind that you need to just completely get out so that you can use the chimney again. Fireplace, I want to say. Of course, there is a 33 as well. It's another master number and it's anything is possible. I love this. There's the fish. And this, of course, connects us to the water energy, the divine, the love, the emotional energy. Specifically a Pisces maybe, but it's still the water energy. It's fertility, new beginnings change. We have three sixes. Wow. So this is balance. It's really strong here today because obviously what went on here, because that six of pentacles, excuse me, the four of pentacles in reverse, very early on in your reading, the feeling of that they're losing you. They're in the process of rebalancing their divine feminine and divine masculine energies in order to come from a place of balance, in order to come, which is really what you've been waiting for. And that's also divine feminine and divine masculine energy in general coming together here and forming a union. This cat, it's really interesting. It's healing. Little secret keepers. <laughs> And yeah, they're, they're secret keepers, but I want to tell you nocturnal, playful, right? Kind of bossy actually <laughs> for any of the, the fellow cat owners out there, but they're healers. You know, cats have high, high vibrational, there's a high vibrational energy in their purring, but also they say that they come to you and go to kind of where it is that you're needing healing. For example, healing your heart chakra and will absorb that negative energy. And then they go off and, and they release it, probably with their zoomies. <laughs> so this is a healing energy today, and this is all emotionally healing, of course, because the fish is also tied to the emotions. And I mean, it's an anchor. It's, it's connected to a ship, which is sailing on, which is on the divine, moving on the divine, the direction that you're going is the emotional energy. It's the love, and it's when you stop and you, you know, assess things and try to figure out where things are going. And you take that anchor and you put it down and it goes all the way down to the bottom of the divine and it goes all the way to the deepest emotions. It gets to the bottom of things literally and hooks in and stops that ship so you can figure things out. Taurus, this has been a really beautiful reading. It's been my total honor. I just want to hold it up so you can see it. I thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to the Tarot Closet. And it goes without saying, thank you for being here today. That means a lot to me. I love you very much. I'm sending you love and light, all things good your way, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another reading.